Hello! So welcome to Dark Souls 3, VOD Watchers. Right now, as per usual, we're starting off with uh, the whopping zero in chat. But that, as, as always, that is fine. The VOD is always there for anyone who wants to watch it later. Uh, Dark Souls is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I guess, well, I mean, like, I've always been aware of the games for a long time. Like, ever since the first one, uh like released and everyone's like ah this is the hardest thing ever how how, how could they uh or i guess that was demon souls technically but that one just had less publicity regardless um i never really played them until bloodborne came out and like i'm a big fan of like eldritch hard stuff so bloodborne was the first one that got me to i i played from start to finish but then i put it down for a long time um tried to play Dark Souls 3 a couple times, but never really got into it. Played Sekiro, beat everything but the final boss. <laughs> One day I'll come back to that. And then Elden Ring dropped, and Elden Ring was like the perfect gateway to get me to properly dive into the Dark Souls franchise. Once I beat Elden Ring, then I was like, okay, now we go back, we play Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. And yeah, now I'm here playing it for y'all. Uh, to share something that I love with you guys. Now, as stated before in some of my, my posts, we we did a, we did a little uh, poll as to what stat you want me to focus my strength, my uh, kind of like my damage into. And for a while, I thought I was going to do both. I was going to do like a battle wizard uh, with a strength int build, but in, uh, strength pulled ahead uh, by a decent amount near the end. So. We are going to just do Oonga Boonga, Strength Style, beat things to death with a stick. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, character customization. Uh, first off, we already know what our name will be, based on the, thumb, the title that I have made here. Don't worry, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Um... Uh, appearance, load favorites, ignore some of my other creations there. There we go, there's Sylvester. Uh, as for a starting class, I was considering just starting out with, what is it called? The warrior, since he has the highest strength, but I think it'd be more fun to just jump into prives. <laughs> it feels, it feels appropriate to just start with a stick and go in like that. Um, as far as our burial gift, nothing here is, like, super, like, life-changing, like... So we can really just go if we want, I actually didn't really consider this part too much. I might just go with the life ring, even though it's, like, a ring you get rid of pretty fast, because it's just not that useful compared to everything else. It's, like, the only thing here that's gonna have, like, a longer-term effect. It's like that, or either this, uh, the Sarnless Soul, and just getting a few extra souls to start with. But, like, we don't need that, so let's get the life ring. Okay, let's start Sylvester's journey. Okay, uh, first and foremost, let's get rid of that shield. Um, I mean, we don't have much armor to start with, but that's fine. We're going to be taking some intense damage in the beginning, but we will hopefully deal with that relatively soon. Let's fight the crystal lizard over here in the corner before we go deal with Gyunder. Gyun Hello, sir. You're gonna roll at me? No, you're gonna hit the wall. Bonk! Oh yeah, let's use Warcry and get her attack up. Nice! Ooh, nope! Ah, damn, I rolled the wrong way and missed my opportunity. Bonk. Ooh! Icy. Excuse me. Is that can I get a crit? No. Oh, excuse me. Getting our war cry and come in with the swings. Bonk. Nice. This is going actually really well. Critical? Yeah, there we go. 
You're almost done, sir. It'll be over soon. Oh, okay, I just kind of ate that. <laughs> Give me some breathing room, please. Excuse me, pardon me. Sip. I just want to sip my juice in peace. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's not get too greedy here. Go. There we go, okay. One and done. Wasn't perfect, but went pretty damn well. Forgot just how much damage I take. I think I think this is the Dark Souls that has a mechanic where, like, if you don't have armor equipped in all your slots, you take extra damage, which kind of sucks. On fire. Yes, yes, rest. Now we go and pick up a few more items. Is there a dude is gonna jump in now. Okay, we're good. Oh. Ah, damn it. Bonk. Oh, I missed. It's okay, two bonks will take care of you. Bing, bong. Bing, bong. Let's try this again. I forget what item this is, but might as well take everything we can. A Titanite Shard. Yeah, it's going to be good for early. Should I drop? I guess I should. Okay, you're done. And you're done. Uh, let's equip that firebomb. Because I think Gundir will get weak to fire once he goes, like, rat mode. Ooh, just ran into you. Oh, okay. I'll be taking this. Alright. Alright. Ding dong. Ow, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, we're already off to a bad start here. Excuse me. Bing. Bong. Bing. Gonna have to remember his, like, pacing. Ah, damn it. I, I so desperately want to, uh... You ah, shit! Give me a second. Time out. Time in. Ah! Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe he's not as vulnerable to fire as I thought he was. Ah, damn it. Okay. Almost first try. Not too shabby, not too shabby. The Gundir? Meh. I scream. Okay, that was not the trade to look for. Go get my souls too before I forget. Well, good thing I grabbed him because he just murdered the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, this is gonna take a little getting used to again. It's been a while since I last played a Souls game, and definitely choosing the hardest starting class out the gate was a choice. This means we get to kill these beginning guys a few times. At least the boss runs in this game are not too bad, especially the beginning one. Now, the boss runs in DS2, that is where it's, where it's at its worst. I remember running multiple times to like the samurai dude. And just like running through hordes and hordes of mobs. Okay. Do this. Roll too early. Damn. Okay. I am really not putting on a good show here. I promise I'm better than this. <laughs> I promise. Don't mind me, I'll deal with you in a minute. <laughs> I 
I'm really okay. I'm really mistiming that particular attack. Okay, this is an easy one to dodge. Oh, I can't believe my my uh, this natural attack pattern dodged that. I was pretty certain I was gonna eat that. Ooh. Oh god, okay. Yeah, the annoying part of this part of the phase is that like just everything is a hit is a hurt box. Ooh, don't grab me. Leave me alone. Back off. He really hangs in the air for a while there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Three tries. Not too bad. Ember restored, so we get a little bit more health too. I think I do have this have the game set to offline mode, which is how I prefer to play it. I just don't like to deal with like random invasions when I Ember. Not my particular cup of tea. Yeah, that's the only thing there is just like, yeah, this is, how you, this is how you play the game. Should be like something over here. Like there should be a dog and an item, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Hey, friend. Bad dog. Bad dog. And yeah, there's the item. A number. Yeah, that's useful. Here we are, Firelink. Yeah, we are tasked as uh, as the ashes. We are tasked with going and killing the one, two, three, four, five lords of Cinder, returning them to the thrones, their ashes to the thrones, and reigniting the fire to keep the age of fire going. Because if we don't, then it'll be the age of darkness, and everyone's scared of the age of darkness. Um, it's pretty much the plot to some extent of all the Dark Souls games. Um, this is just like the, the first, like the, because the flame has gotten so weak, we need multiple people to, we, they like need multiple people to relight it or something like that. I don't fully remember. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm running into this tree over and over again, it is because I'm trying to do a skip like that. There you go. Trying to get to this area a little bit early. Uh, I don't remember at the top of my head what I can trade with the birds, so I just won't. But, what I will do instead, yes, pickle, pickle pee, pump a rump, we do get an SS shard early. We also, open up please, we'll get a very important item, which is not here, on the other side. The... How does Silver Serpent ring? So this is going to increase the amount of souls that get dropped, which is going to be pretty damn useful. That'll help us fast track our way to some of the early game. Ow. Oh yeah, each of these thrones, like, they have a little engraving on the back. So like, this is the, the throne of King Lothric, last hope of his line, who is one of our targets. She is our level up lady. She will help us with that. Um... I guess we'll do a little bit of early leveling here. I don't know what weapons I want yet, so why don't we just increase our endurance and... Why don't I have so many? Oh, because I'm level 1, that's why. Uh, yeah, let's get our stamina and our strength and our health up a little bit. We'll continue with this amount of damage and start making choices later on uh, as to what weapons we'll wield. She's... Yeah, the handmaidens are from the second game. They are like <laughs> retired firekeepers. Uh, she works as like an in-game shop. I can buy things from her. I can buy like the beginning beginning equipment from uh, any of the classes, along with some chain mail if I want to. But I'll probably skip the chain mail in favor of just finding some uh, equipment. Old Andre's back from the first game. Such is my purpose. Indeed, it is. 
uh, yeah, he can incre in increase our armor, not our armor, but he can increase the uh, potency of our weapons, along with reinforcing our Estus flasks to hold more charges. <laughs> yes, yes, you don't want to see your work squandered. We'll find more members to add to this uh, lovely space over time. But for now, we will start with these guys. Uh... I can... Yeah, for shits and giggles, even though I'm not going to use the katana, let's also fight the the old master around the corner. Yeah, he can give me a shirt, I think. And I'd like a shirt. Hello, sir. He is a little annoying to fight, though. I didn't mean to do that twice, but whatever. Right. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. Oh, can I just knock you off? Okay, there we go. That makes the job easy. Um. Yeah, let's... In order to get his stuff to spawn, though, we have to run back now. Oh, yeah, shield here. Can I level up with that, by the way? Because he did give me some souls. Yes, I can. I can put two points of strength now. Farewell, Off to a good start. Minus the gun deer fight. We don't talk about the gun deer fight. There's his stuff. Hanging out where he was hanging out. Cool. Now, I don't think I can actually wield the Uchiki. Yeah, I can't. It's no good here. I can wear the master's attire, though. And his gloves. Now the only thing I'm missing now is a headpiece. Not open from this side. Sedge. High Wall of Lothric. Here we go. Do 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 do. All right. Excuse me. Open the door. All right. Now we get to killing. I say as if I haven't been killing for the last few minutes. I guess first things first, we light the bonfire. Now the game's really gonna begin. In the next episode, that is. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And stick around for more content in the future. Thank you.